Hi everybody, dessert review time. I was sh shopping at Stop and Shop the other night. I saw they had haagen on sale. This container is normal price $6.49. It was on sale for $2.49 off, so four bucks. $6.49 seems pretty steep for this container, which is a little bit less than a pint. It's 14 ounces, but as you've known from my other videos, all the haagen products have been like Super premium. I've totally loved them. It's been like my favorite ice cream lately. This is not a new flavor, but for me, it's new. I've never had it before. New York Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Cream. Yum, yum. All right. We got 2.5 servings in this container. 300 calories a serving. Sodium, 125. Sugar, 24 grams. The whole contains 810 calories. I can't even read that, guys. 240, 280 milligrams of sodium, 64 grams of sugar for the whole container. All right. Let me see if I can get this guy to focus on the ingredients for you all so you can see the ingredients. Of course you can't. Why well, wouldn't it focus? Focus, focus. I don't get it. All right. I think you can see the ingredients. Anyway, it's not that main green stand. There's nothing crazy on, on this in this container. This review has turned to a real shit show. It is what it is. All right, New York style cheesecake. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, here's the cool top. It's kind of cool. Here's what we got. Looks like vanilla ice cream with a little bit of pink something in there. Let me get a scoop. Should have let it melt more. Let's see how it is. Ooh, interesting. It really tastes a little bit like a piece of cheesecake, but the vanilla is super creamy, which is what I love about haagen -Dazs. So that really, it's, it's like the best ice cream. It's such a premium product. Got a little bit of crunch. Almost like, like the t the crumble underneath it on a piece of homemade cheesecake. This is interesting. I like it. It's definitely different. It's definitely some variety. If if you get a lot of ice cream pints, and you want something different, it's definitely different. All right. I like this. But it's not it's not the best product. The ice cream is good, it's creamy. I get a little bit of texture of like the piece of cheesecake, a little bit of taste of the strawberry. I don't know, to me it almost tastes like I'm eating a strawberry yogurt. Like the strawberry taste is a little bit on the artificial side. It's more like 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 a colored yogurt. You know, the kind of yogurt without fruit in it, just the coloring. It's a good product. I know the ice cream is, is premium and it's creamy, but this isn't doing it for me. I'm not crazy about this. I can't give this a super high score or recommend it. It's okay. It's good. It's definitely better than Breyers or the cheap store brands. Score-wise, it's not that great. I mean, I'm going to give this a 7.9. I mean, it's, it's good product, but it's just not... It's just missing. So it's not that pop. That pop is what it's missing. It's not doing it for me. Anyway, you all should try this for yourself. Some people might love this. It's going to be like an individual preference. That's the review for tonight. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe to my channel, share this video. Everybody have a great night.